Hey, what's up, Kendall Mano Squad? Hey, gang, how's it going? Today we got another video. We are gonna be reacting to dating when you look like a child. What? I mean, wait, what? Dating when you look like a child. All right, let's, go. let's give it a look. You want to put me on cute. a dating app, but you don't want me to dress provocative. Do you want to dress provocative? I have the clothes. This is what inspired Benjamin Button, bro. <laughs> like, she probably has a very rare illness where her face doesn't age, but her body does. No, but Maybe. her body doesn't age either. No, her, her body, body looks her body's like definitely feet. older. Yeah. What? No. It definitely has an older body. Yeah, look at the cellulite. Is it cellulite? Is it cellulite? There's plenty of bad situations that can happen when it comes to people that want to date me. The attraction to younger um, people, children exactly, is an issue. And there have been times that I've attracted that. And they haven't been like super old creepy guys all the time. Is that chair? Yeah. A chair for giant? They put this chair on purpose yeah. to show how small she looks no, no, in that chair. Why body literally didn't grow up. She's probably like four foot two or something. It's either this is a room for giants or she is that small. She looks shorter than the table. I think they set this up in a way where the, 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 the furniture is extra big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm, that. I'm, I'm a little just, confused. Yeah. So who looks normal sitting in this chair? Is either a sumo wrestler or Shaq. What are we gonna say in your bio? I'm short. Leave me alone. Oh, cause that'll that get so many. Not going to get hit. Online dating for Sean, I think it's a slippery slope. The problem with online is. That's normal people furniture, <laughs> right? That's normal people furniture. Yo, that's a rough time. Yo, try to say it's a rough time and then have a secondary <laughs> meaning to that. <laughs> <laughs> Do not read into it. It's a rough time. I get it, bro. But that's, that's a beginner level pun, though. Bro, come on, man. I feel like the hard time is that. I'm not <laughs> 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 the difficult time is the fact that she attracts really weird people. Yo, honestly, if I her, I'd just be a cougar. If she came to me in a bar, I'd be like, how'd you get past the door? The Wait, sir. Add your first profile prompt. Uh, a pro and con of dating me. <laughs> I could think of a really dirty pro. <laughs> You're at the right height. Yeah, we know. <laughs> that's a good fun. That's a good fun. That's a good fun. That's, a good fun. That's, why, that's why it's a rough time, bro. It's too strange, man. Imagine in a world, right, where you see like a regular looking 30 year old guy with her holding hands. The post repercussions of this. Yeah, you know I mean, it's like, let's say, let's say we fall in love with that dating, right? <laughs> and then I walk around in public with her. I just guys walk around and I kiss her in public. It's like, I'm, hey guys, I'm gonna tell you guys about like it. You guys are being very negative Nancy's right now. Think about going to a museum. You get child tickets every <laughs> time, bro. You don't need a thing, bro. You got a buffet. Yeah, you, you don't fucking fly airplanes. When it comes to physical intimacy, the boxes have all been checked. Bro, I don't, I, I feel so. She says the boxes have all been checked. This is why I know it's difficult. Really it's difficult for her because when I hear that her physical intimacy boxes have been checked, I feel oh, a little bro. bit strange. <laughs> I'll never complain about being a short guy ever again. He looks like a boy. He's looking for a relationship. That's a good dog. guy. He can't spell Connecticut. He did put a Q in Connecticut, T. Put a Q in Connecticut. I'm always said this, like, she's not someone who suffers from, like, dwarfism, for instance. You know what I mean? Or maybe she does, but, like, her voice itself yeah, is a yeah. child. Personally, if I were to date either her or, like, someone who suffers dwarfism, I'd choose dwarfism. The problem is not how short or whatever she is. It's the fact that she looks like a kid. Yeah, exactly. She sounds like a kid, yeah. Ooh, Greg. Kind of a nerd. This is perfect. I have a dog. a dog. Bunch of musical instruments. Cancer survivor! Yes! Hey! Yes! I'm looking for someone who's nice, has integrity, maybe funny. Funny's good, too. What were you guys doing upstairs? We're just hoping to spice up her life a little bit. What are you doing? We made Sean a dating profile. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Did they not tell me her age? I think she's, she's in her mid-20s for sure. What? Oh my god. She's in her mid-20s. He's a cancer survivor, college grad. Didn't spell Connecticut with a Q. Does he know how tall you are? I don't know. Imagine, like, you went on a date and that happened. Because she's like, a lot of them don't, don't know my height. Bro, if, if I went on a date, and I was looking around, I'm going to guess, I'm going to guess, huh? <laughs> Did you lose your mom or something? If I went on a date with her, wish all the best for her, right? I might as well turn myself in right now. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Greg's not liking us. Greg's liking Shauna. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Greg's dealing with three people. We like Greg. At this point, I am open to dating and having a relationship, but I'm not sure if online dating is for me. Wait, wait, wait hold on a second. There's, there's one more she actually goes on a date. Oh, what? I wonder three why. foot! She's three foot tall. Bro, she's three foot tall. Gabby the matchmaker has set me up on a second blind date, and this afternoon I'm going to meet him. I, I wanted them to be blind dates. Wait, 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 wait. Did she come out of the front seat? Yeah, she came out of the front seat. Is she allowed to be out of the front seat? You gotta be a certain height to get front seat. There's a lot of judgment in people's faces when they yeah. first see me. So yeah. having it blind, having him not know what I look like. 
changes it. You know what though? You know what? I I I really like her attitude. Just knowing this is how she is. She's like, I'm gonna live with the cards I'm dealt with. She belongs to Six Feet Under podcast. She could easily be like, Dang, it's not for me. Yeah. But, yeah, but she's yeah, like, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. live my life and I'm gonna live it to the yeah. best I can. Yeah. Despite all respect that, man. Respect. This guy, yo, camera please pan back to his face. This guy's like, where's Chris Hansen? Where's Chris Hansen? <laughs> he's like, he's like, where's Chris Hansen, bro? Is my life over? Is this a setup? That's wild, bro. Hi, I'm Shana. Hi, Shana. How you doing? Yes. Oh, fuck, he's speaking like a child. He's speaking to a child. Hey, Shana, how you doing, huh? Hello? Give me a hug. Oh, a hug? You want a hug? I'm yes. Like, oh. I don't like hugs. I hate hugs. No one knows how to hug a short person. I legit despise when people try to hug me. He dealt with it the best way he could, and respect to him for that. Honestly, I was a little surprised, and I was like, all right, let me just keep myself contained, because I thought that I was, you know, being punked or something at first. What would you do if you were in that situation? I might actually just have to leave. I wouldn't leave. I, I, I like go on the date and I'd be like, I no, treat no, no. it as a friend. I, I was a little internally conflicted. So you guys have a really good connection. And then she like goes in for the kiss. Will you kiss back? Like, I'm just thinking these intimate moments. It's hard, bro. As much as I want to say like, you know, like I want to know all the connection and stuff. It's just like, it's a limit, bro. I was told that she had like a form of cancer. His head is the size of her body, bro. <laughs> I will say he, he seems like a great guy. He seems like a really, really like, just like also, Oh, mine a great guy. Camera makes bad people look pretty. <laughs> I'm not saying he's a bad guy by any means, but it's yeah. like, you can clearly tell in his face, he's like, what did I sign myself up for? He was a good looking guy. He was nice. But yeah, my first impression was he's, he's tall. You came into this knowing things about me. I'm completely blind. Yes, so yes. So, you owe me two things. So, one thing about me is picking this one location. I noticed that this was a high school right here mm -hmm. that I actually played. And like I played against this high school. Oh, you played against and, him, in yeah, football. Okay. So when I notice this over here, that's one thing I want to let you know is I played football. He looks like he's talking to a kid. Wait, wait, wait. How many pizzas is he going to eat? <laughs> <laughs> is that supposed to be a stool or something? Like how many pizzas did he order for himself and her? I thought it was trying to do like yeah, yeah. a height comparison. He got, he got he got a lot of pizzas, bro. I will say that I was standoffish towards Abraham in the beginning, and that's just because my trust issues are through the roof. My walls are like a hundred feet tall because I've been used that a lot. What? Yo, I don't want to hear the stories that she's been through, man. Yeah. Right. And I've been used for dumb reasons. And he's still in that area of, is he using me or is he not? I don't think he's using you, girl. Yo, you never know, man. Like, there's some, there's definitely some, like, stubborn, some bad people out there who have, like, interesting fetishes and stuff. Is this the same thing applies to somebody who has an Asian fetish? No, like, this is not a different skill than Asian fetish, okay. man. Let us know how you guys would be if you guys had set up on a blind date with her. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Click here to watch... Mom and daughter do OnlyFans together. And click here to watch the YouTube things you'll love. Peace, bro.